Hi. Let's learn about abnormal return, definition, causes, example. An abnormal return describes unusually large profits or losses generated by a given investment or portfolio over a specified period. It differs from the expected rate of return, which is the estimated risk-adjusted return based on an asset pricing model or using multiple valuation techniques. Abnormal returns could simply be anomalous or may indicate something more nefarious, such as fraud or manipulation. It should not be confused with alpha or excess returns earned by actively managed investments. Abnormal returns are crucial in determining a security or portfolio's risk-adjusted performance when compared to the overall market or a benchmark index. They could help to identify a portfolio manager's skill on a risk-adjusted basis and illustrate whether investors received adequate compensation for the investment risk assumed. An abnormal return can be either positive or negative, and it measures the actual return's difference from the predicted yield. Cumulative abnormal return is the total of all abnormal returns and is used to measure the effect lawsuits, buyouts, and other events have on stock prices. It's crucial for determining the accuracy of asset pricing models in predicting expected performance. The Capital Asset Pricing Model, CAPM, is used to calculate a security or portfolio's expected return based on the risk-free rate of return, beta, and the expected market return. For example, an investor's portfolio returned 25% and had a beta of 1.25 when measured against the benchmark index. Therefore, the portfolio's abnormal return during the previous year was 6.75% or 25 to 18.25%. The same calculations can be helpful for a stock holding, such as stock ABC, which had a beta of 2 and an abnormal return of minus 10%, underperforming the market. Here are four key takeaways. 1. An abnormal return deviates from an investment's expected return. 2. Abnormal returns can be either positive or negative and help investors determine risk-adjusted performance. 3. Abnormal returns can be produced by chance, external or unforeseen events, or as the result of bad actors. 4. Cumulative abnormal return, CR, is the sum total of all abnormal returns and is used to measure the effect lawsuits, buyouts, and other events have on stock prices. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.